beginning photo, we are going to learn how to develop our film today. So I've already got my film on the reel and ready to go. Everything that I'm going to say is also posted a few places right over the sinks and the developing station. So you don't need to memorize it. Um, you can kind of follow along with the directions there. Okay. The first step is recognizing there are three developers. Number one, number two, and number three. Okay, each, we can use the chemistry up to three times before it loses its potency and we have to dump it down the drain. So I'm gonna be using number one, and I've already got it pulled out here, and you will notice that it says nine and a half minutes. That's your overall developing time for this chemical, and when done, pour into jug two, okay? So up here, we are in step one, pour 20 ounces of developer into the tank. 20 ounces is also two and a half cups. Okay, I'm gonna pour it into my tank. to put a lid on. You don't have to have the lid on, but it just helps it to not um, spill out, okay? And step two, it says tap gently a few times with your palm or the tabletop, like this, like this. That's just to get some air bubbles to the top. And my assistant's gonna tell me to start her timer, 30 seconds, continuous agitation. Okay, it's kind of like tilt whirl style. You're doing it side to side, but also kind of tipping it back and forth at the same time. Um, 30 seconds continuously. And then we will do it just for five seconds for the remaining minutes, each minute. So that was 30 seconds. Now my assistant is going to tell me when it is eight minutes seven, six, and so on. And I will do the agitation for five more seconds. Now I got a little chemical on my hand. So be aware that you should not be touching your face or your skin or eating snacks or doing anything like that while you are developing. I'm gonna just rinse my hands off really quick. While we're over here, just notice that the equipment is color coded differently for developer and fix. So just like in the dark room, fix and developer don't mix, okay? We don't wanna cross contaminate our materials. All right, so this is developer one. We have gone through the nine and a half minute um, of agitating once every minute for five seconds. We're gonna take the lid off. And this is chemical one. So just like you can see on the instructions, pour into jug two when done, because we can use this up to three times. Make sure you're using um, the appropriate funnels. Pour this out. It's important to make sure that your lid is on tight at this point so it wouldn't accidentally fall off and expose your film. Okay. And now we are on step five. We're gonna fill the tank with cold water and agitate and rinse. a little shake, dump it out. We're rinsing off the chemical before we add in the fix. We are on step seven, pour 20 ounces of fix into the tank. I've already poured this into my measuring cup. And step eight says to tap gently a few times or with your palm. And my timer is set for three minutes. I'm going to agitate continuously for 30 seconds. And I didn't put my lid back on. Um, you don't have to technically. You just want to be careful that you're not sloshing chemical all over yourself. 
And now this goes pretty quickly. So for the next um, two and a half minutes, every 30 seconds, we are going to agitate for five seconds, okay? So when the 30 seconds is up, my timer is going to show me. Obviously, you guys would be doing this on your phone or your laptop, timing yourselves. And the fix we will use over and over again until it um, goes bad. We've got five seconds of agitation. And um, you are not responsible for testing the fix. That's something myself and the other instructors will be taking care of, but we add a chemical reaction, um, a reagent into the fix, just a tiny sample of the fix. And if it turns cloudy, um, we know that it has gone bad. And so we would then just dump it out and make new. It's time to agitate one more time for five seconds. And the fix is what makes our film light safe, just like it does in the dark room. Okay. And I've got my funnel already set up here so I can just pour right back in. And the step after this will be to rinse it off again. And at this point, our film would be light safe. So you're gonna be doing a lot of multitasking while you are developing. Once you get the hang of it, you're welcome to take your developing tank to your table and to work on other assignments, maybe your Snapchat or um, any of your planning or um, other kinds of paperwork. Once you're more confident with it, um, you will be able to multitask that. So you're not just standing over here um, doing this. This is our last timer. We're going to dump it back into the fix. cold water. If you're the last person to use the fix, make sure to recap it. Swirl it around. Jump. Swirl it around. Dump. And then third time's the charm. Now it is safe for us to remove the lid and see what we got. We'll pull this out and it'll kind of look like there's no pictures on it and you'll probably freak out a little. We're going to remove this and you're going to look for the matching set. There's two different types of reels. Um, this is the side with arrows or you would have the side with the big plastic pieces here, but arrows pointing down one hand towards yourself, um, pulling towards yourself, one hand going away to release it. And then just make sure that you put it back correctly. And you will see that we have our film. Okay, the next step is to go ahead and put it in a bath of photo flow. This is just water and it has a tiny bit of this solution, which will help to clean and get any water streaks off. And while it's soaking a little bit, it's very important that we do our dirty dishes. We're gonna just rinse off any extra chemical and put things back nice and tidy. So if I say anything about doing the dirty dishes, this is what I am referring to. Just giving it a quick rinse. putting back any of the equipment we were using. Okay. Now I'm going to use scissor fingers to get the excess water off. Okay. And I do that usually a couple of times. And you'll walk over here and get one of the photo wipes. The thin tissue ones you only can use once. And we're just going to try to clean off any extra water. Hopefully not have any water spots. And then you will get a piece of tape and hang it up to dry. Now, if for some reason you finish your film during class and there's plenty of time to still cut them and put them in the contact sheet, we have a print dryer over here. 
If you look at the top, there is a mark that says one hour. Don't turn it past one hour. We would just turn it on for a tiny bit and you can hang your negatives in here to dry. Okay, and that is how to develop your film.